Okay, so we're ready to reassemble our heads. Uh, we've got our valves all lapped, so we got a nice uh, gray contact patch here and matching here in the, uh, in the actual valve seats as well. So th those are all nice and clean. We've cleaned up the valves, everything's nice and clean, and we've even addressed and, and refaced the stems as well. So we've got all our surfaces good, we've got all our parts clean, our retainers, our keepers, our valve locks, whatever you want to call those, and we're ready to go back together. Now typically I'd probably have this flipped over and just kind of do one valve at a time up through the bottom, put the keepers on it and so forth, but since we'll do this kind of all at one time and make this a little faster, I'll go ahead and drop all these valves in here. And I'm going to put a little lube on these, just a little uh, 10W or 30 weight uh, oil on it, just on the valve stems. We really want to keep the seats clean of any kind of oils. We really don't need anything on there because they're, they should be nice and dry. And then I always try to Oh, look at there, I've always already made one mistake. Number one valve, number seven, that's lapped in a different place. Or that's lapped under a different cylinder. So, and it should go nice and clean and I like to try to rotate those as they go in. Probably not absolutely critical, but something I like to do. Again, I want my valves nice and clean and dry and just oil here on the stems. And there's my number seven. And they should pretty much fall into place. Now my exhaust valves. And finally number one. So I've got all my valves in. I'm going to double check all my numbers are correct. One and one, three and three, five and five, seven and seven. So all the correctly lapped val valves are in their correct spaces and as I mentioned typically I would do this one by one from the underside but I'm going to just stuff a couple of rags in here kind of cheat the system a little bit here grab me a board and that should hold our valves in place as we put on the springs and the retainers and first, the valve seals. So these are typical stock style LS valve seals that the uh, spring cups are actually made onto the valve seals or the valve seals are made on the spring cups. So they slide on and really don't have to, you don't have to drive these on. You can actually push these on on the uh, some of the Viton seals. Uh, you have to press those on with a press or use a socket and so forth that these you do not have to do. Now before I do this, I just like to be extra critical. I've made sure that I've deburred all of these, uh, these valve faces on the edge, but I'm gonna go ahead and I like to take a little STP just because it's really thick and just kind of dab there on the, the valve face before I go to slide those valve seals on. Just extra precaution. I know it's probably Needless to some, but I like to be extra precautious. And then also when I go to slide these on, I like to spin them as well. They should go on really easy and don't let them catch or anything. And then once they're on like that, we'll come back and press them. And you could definitely go and, and oil the insides of these if you felt like it. If you wanted to put some oil in there and rotate it around, that's definitely not going to hurt anything. I know I've got my valve stems already lubed up pretty well.
Again, I like to make sure that I'm spinning it as I go on. Okay, now they're already slid on. I'm gonna go ahead and just take my two thumbs and press those into place. So you can see, press them in, they go down a little further, just to make sure they're gonna press on without any extensive force on them. And they should stay down. Sometimes they might try to pop back up with a little tension from the, uh, from the seal. But they look pretty good. That one's up a little. Yeah, it went back down. It's up a little, yep. But again, make sure they'll bottom out without a lot of excessive force because you don't want them tearing by any means. And they all look good. Give it a good visual. So now we're ready to rock and roll with actually putting on our springs. These are uh, springs from BTR or Brian Tooley Racing. Pretty much a typical uh, stock beehive style spring. I'm not sure of the uh, seat pressures actually on these but they're a stock style beehive spring, I know that. And make sure they fit over your cups, fit correctly. Make sure your retainers fit on here. We use our rocker stands here. Put a couple of bolts in just to Center it up, and then I'll use some actual I can just snug these up. They don't have to be really tight. And we want to lube up, lube up this bowl. This is the one that gets a lot of pressure, so make sure we got some lube on there. And I'm going to snug this down. And make sure you're not catching your valves. Make sure it's centering over the valves. My keepers. And you can see they're kind of pushed up. I can take a screwdriver and I can pull this down and work that keeper around the bottom and that will hold it in place there we go And we'll slowly there we go. Uh, move on to the next one. Containers. If I had this head sitting flat, I wouldn't have to worry about holding this in place.
valves look good. Look to be all seated. Also, you can take a look at the tips of all your valve stems and make sure they look good. And you can even take you a straight bar or level, put it over there, and just make sure you're within a few thousandths on each of them. You probably want to do that after we do this next step. Without the valve seated on something, give me a good pop. Make sure the locks are seated. And we're good to go.